Hey everyone, who's watching The King's Affection? I'm sure you'll have noticed that there are many good looking male leads in this drama, so I thought it'd be fun to do a character analysis and look at what makes each of these leads so endearing in The King's Affection. And I also wanted to make this a chatty journaling video since I've been feeling like doing something crafty but didn't know how to incorporate it. If you're watching the drama, who's your favourite lead and why? So I like them all, but if I have to be honest, I am very soft for the second lead who is Lee Hun, played by the actor Nam. Yunsu. But like I said, all of the leads in this are super charming and I'm the type of second lead sufferer who will still like the first lead and will be totally happy if they end up with the female lead. I just need the second lead to have a happy ending and a good storyline. I guess that sounds kind of weird, but if you're the same kind of weird as me or you understand what I mean, please let me know in the comments below. So let's get into why the first lead, Jiwon, is such a charming character. He's the king's tutor and aside from being super handsome and tall because the character is played by the actor Rowan, he's also a carefree soul who has a really strong sense of justice. He doesn't believe that the noble classes are more deserving or any better than the lower classes. And these are probably the qualities I like about him the most. His carefree nature means that you see him prancing along with flowers in his arms or behind his ears but he also provides a really refreshing light-hearted air to balance out the more serious and tense nature of Dami who is the way she is because she's been forced to hide her identity with very dire consequences if the truth ever comes out. The fun thing about Jiwon is that he's not afraid to challenge Dami and so it's fun to see them bicker while everyone else is either being super respectful to Dami or being very antagonistic to her because she's the prince. Jiwon is also really progressive as a character and that might be because he's a scholar which makes him very smart and well read and probably able to analyze issues and morals better than most people. But he's also someone who doesn't put up fake appearances. He doesn't care about breaking outdated traditions and he advocates for equal society. He also takes a stand against his father who he knows is doing the wrong thing when he acts as a henchman for Dami's grandfather. Another way in which Jiwon is very progressive is that he falls for Dami and he doesn't question the idea of liking someone with the same gender. He doesn't torture himself but he just accepts that he really likes the person that he likes which is quite beautiful since it means that everything else including gender is just trivial to the love that he feels towards Dami. But like I mentioned at the start I am torturing myself in this series with second lead syndrome so if you're a seasoned drama watcher like me you probably know what I mean but if you're new to K-dramas then second lead syndrome is when you're more invested in the second lead character or actor and often this applies to love triangles where there's two male characters and a female. You know the secondary lead character is not going to end up with a girl but you're still rooting for them and second lead syndrome can hurt if the second lead spends all series being the perfect person but getting ignored or worse if the writer decides to turn them evil out of jealousy. And hopefully Hopefully it's not going to happen in the series since I like Lee Hoon a lot. So now let's talk about the second lead. Lee Hoon is one of those second leads that's so caring and so playful and charming that it's really hard for me not to be personally drawn to the second lead. He's played by Nam Yoon Soo who has a killer smile and is very good at doing that longing gaze that second leads tend to do. What I love about Lee Hoon is that he's highly empathetic towards Dami and you can see it in the way that he's always thinking about what she needs and what she wants. He's so considerate of her thoughts and feelings that he's almost a tune to them before she even consciously thinks about them. And one example was when they were in the shop and it was crowded, he noticed that she might be uncomfortable in the crowd so he took her hand and led her on a chase and turned it into a fun game of running away from everyone. He's the first to know her secret and you can see that he understands her pain when he watches her cry at her parents funeral and he also looks equally pained as well. Whenever she feels troubled or uneasy he always knows where to find her and what sort of things will comfort her and some of the sweetest things that he said is that if she ever needs an escape he will give her the directions always. And he tells her to look after her happiness as well because if she's not happy he'll find it very hard to be happy while she's sad. And while Dami is very capable of fighting and looking after herself she also has more enemies and lives a more dangerous life than most people so Lee Hun has played a very important part in saving her life. The first time we're introduced to Lee Hun as an adult he saves Dami from an assassin in the forest so without him pulling her out of harm's way she would have been seriously hurt if not dead. He's also in on the plan with her father and commander Yun that allow her to escape the palace. He's quite a soft and gentle person but when someone threatens Dami he has some dark energy towards those people like her uncle. But I think you can see that he's a fairly playful character and a really gentle soul when he's not threatened and this is reflected since childhood. The whole reason he found out the prince is Dami and not her brother is because he was trying to find a place to hide his kittens as a kid and he ended up overhearing the conversation between Dami and her mother. He's always reminding Dami to smile and play like when she was a kid and teasing Jiwon as a friend. It's really cute. I like their bromance. 
romance and I hope that will continue even after Jiwon and Dami are together. So now I want to talk about the third lead who is Dami's bodyguard Kim Gaon. He has a pretty face but is also super cool and silent and he's played by the good looking Byon Chan. Unlike the other two leads he's not part of the love triangle but his character doesn't actually exist in the original comic story. Despite personal grievances he seems determined to do his job well that is to protect Dami from any injuries. It's Gaon who finds the intruder sent by her uncle in her bathroom and it's also him who throws himself in front of the Ming and voice guards when they're fighting and he injures himself protecting her. He's a mysterious character but he also seems to be someone who has deep loyalty and a good sense of dignity. So if you have third lead syndrome I definitely do not blame you. So these three leads are super charming and I can't wait to see how the story unfolds. So let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite lead and regardless of which one you like I hope all the characters have worthy endings. None of those dramatic unlikable twists like them turning evil or having some sort of untimely death. No, we want happy endings for all our leads. Anyway, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.